Welcome to St. Francis of Assisi Church in Kitchener on this 33rd Sunday in Ordinary Time. We begin by praying the Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, in the indigenous language of Cree. Te pani kichi ke an kiki maka nichi ke Christos kiki maka nichi ke Te pani kichi ke an kiki maka nichi ke May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord, our God, the constant gladness of being devoted to you, for it is full and lasting happiness to serve with constancy the author of all that is good. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus spoke the parable, this parable, to his disciples. For it is as if a man going on a journey summoned his slaves and entrusted his property to them. To one he gave five talents, to another two, to another one, to each according to his ability. Then he went away. The one who had received five talents went off at once and traded them, and made five more talents. In the same way, the one who had the two talents made two more talents. But the one who had received the one talent went off and dug a hole in the ground and hid his master's money. After a long time, the master of those slaves came and settled accounts with them. Then the one who had received five talents came forward, bringing five more talents, saying, Master, you handed over to me five talents. See, I have made five more talents. His master said to him, Well done, good and trustworthy slave. You have been trustworthy in a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Enter into the joy of your master. And the one with the two talents also came forward, saying, Master, you handed over to me two talents. See, I have made two more talents. His master said to him, Well done, good and trustworthy slave. You have been trustworthy in a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Enter into the joy of your master. Then the one who had received the one talent also came forward, saying, Master, I knew that you were a harsh man, reaping where you did not sow, and gathering where you did not scatter seed. So I was afraid. I went and hid your talent in the ground. Here you have what is yours. But the master replied, You wicked and lazy slave! You knew, did you, that I reap where I did not sow and gather where I did not scatter? Then you ought to have invested my money with the bankers, and on my return I would have received what was mine own with interest. So take the talent from him and give it to the one with the ten talents. For to all those who have, more will be given, and they will have an abundance. But from those who have nothing, even what they have will be taken away. As for this worthless slave, throw him into the outer darkness, where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The question that Jesus is responding to in today's gospel is, 
When is the end of time? When will the world end? When will the Son of Man come? What Jesus wants his disciples to do is to wake up and understand that the real question is not when the Son of Man will come or when the end of the world will take place. The important question is, how are you going to live your life between now and then? In today's Gospel, Jesus tells the parable about the talents, the talents that the Master entrusts to his stewards while the Master goes away. It is interesting to note that a talent in the time of Jesus referred to a large coin usually made of silver. One talent was a huge amount of money. One talent weighed about 60 pounds. Five talents would have weighed 300 pounds. One talent was equal to a thousand denarii, another coin used in the day of Jesus. An ordinary laborer typically earned one denarius for a day's work. It would take an ordinary laborer more than 20 years to earn a single talent. As usual, Jesus surprised his hearers with this story in order to teach them something essential for life. And we too learn from this story when we apply it to our own lives. The story that Jesus tells in today's gospel is not about how we invest our money, whether it be in a bank or stock market, mutual funds or whatever else. Our gospel story is about how do we invest our hearts, our ability to love, to serve, to keep commitments, about how we address the needs of our family, our neighbors, and our world. How do we invest the gift of faith? that we have in the life we live. The message of Jesus in the parable of the talents is that no matter how small you may think your gifts, your blessings, or your abilities are, you are responsible to do your part, to give your part, and to live your part. It is irresponsible to sit back and let the rest of the world look after what needs to be done. The warning of the gospel is that if you do not do your part, there are going to be some serious consequences. All of this challenges us to ask ourselves, what do we need to be doing differently? In other words, if you knew that you were about to die, would you make any radical changes in the way you are thinking and living and loving and forgiving? Or would you acknowledge your imminent death and for you it would mean that you would go on living as you have been until the final moment. If called to give an account, the woman of worth in our first reading from Proverbs had indeed developed her talents and used most of her blessings. The quality of her day-to-day existence was such that those with whom she came into contact with, whether it be in her family or the poor or or the needy, all benefited. Two of the servants of the gospel also did their best with the time, talents, and opportunities allotted to them. Each of these two stewards used their ability in such a way as to render an admirable account of their daily activities. But The third steward copped out. He allowed bitterness and fear to control his life. He let his one talent lie fallow. As a result of his procrastination, he was reckoned as worthless, lazy, and undeserving of any share of his master's joy. The gospel is kind of scary. Has Jesus got your attention yet? Living gospel is serious business. Can you hear the echo of the gospel telling us to stop with the excuses and to get a life? The servant who buried the one talent given to him did not 
want to take the responsibility of his master's investment in him. He knew all the rules. If the talent buried in the ground was found and stolen, he wasn't responsible for it. That was the rule of the day. The third servant hid behind safety, being comfortable, not taking any chances, following the rules and the letter of the law. What the gospel points out is that this is not what faith or love or commitment or being a follower of Jesus is all about. We are called to leap out in faith, risk in love, and reach out to others. We are called to celebrate both the little and the great given to us in life. We are called to be good stewards, good managers of God's world and of God-given abilities to make God's world a better place. Today's gospel, the parables of the talents, encourages us to name our talents, to claim them, to own them, and to share them with our world so that we can live in the light and get rid of the darkness. Praise be Jesus Riven, Jesus risen. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia.